Oscar Beagley. Hey there, it's Gerbigli, and today I'm playing a game called Flip Bottle 2023 because I'm a millennial in the year 2023 who still likes flipping bottles. I think it's fun, and you're allowed to make fun of me for that. Anyway, this is an arcade style game where apparently I just have to flip a bottle, try to beat my high score. It looks really, really fun. It's also got a shop, so you know I'm going to dive into that. So let's see what's in there. First off, we got Unlock Level Mode. More than 1,000 levels in it. Okay. Costs 30 diamonds. Uh, I can get different colored bottles. So cosmetics. Pixelate mode. Just like a pixel game. And grayscale mode. Seems old and cool. Interesting. Cool. And I can watch ads, which I will not do for this video, to earn more diamonds. Let's jump in and see what this game's all about, though. Okay. Tap and hold, then release to flip the bottle. Seems easy. Ooh. Okay. It's got this nice, like, clean... 3D aesthetic going on here. Okay, this is fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> or it was until I completely failed. Uh, there's a diamond there, so I just have to get 30 of those and I unlock the level mode, whatever that is. So, high score of three. I don't think it's going to be too hard for me to... Okay. Uh, high score of three. I don't think it's going to be that hard for me to beat. I just got to get a feel for how long I have to hold down to flip the bottle. <laughs> not hitting the edge and rolling off dude come on that's so disappointing even with the way that the music like cuts out and it's just like oh uh, yeah you failed dude oh my god that's insulting okay let's try again Ooh, a diamond all right right in the bank immediately another diamond okay all right i think i'm getting the hang of it a little bit wait why does it say i have 16 points huh that threw me off so much i died okay is it the diamonds cost more like did they give me more points wow i'm right on the edge okay oh my gosh come on <sighs> okay oh yeah diamond okay so diamonds give like five points each nice all right so we really want to prioritize grabbing those guys heck yeah because i was like there's no way i did 16 jumps in that one 26 points. Oh my gosh, I went a little far. That was kind of cool, landing on the back of the couch there. All right, I'm in a rhythm now. Do you know what I have to learn to do? I just have to learn not to talk because every time I do, I immediately jinx myself. It is not the way to go with these types of games. Oh my God. All right, 35. Not too bad of a score. I got only six diamonds to unlock cosmetics and stuff with though. I got to get up to 30 before the end of this video, and I obviously only have limited time, so uh, I got to get going. Got to get cruising. What kind of bottle is this, by the way? I don't know if it's a drink bottle. It could be. Maybe some sort of, like, uh, <laughs> it, it looks like a laxative bottle. As someone who uh, totally doesn't have any experience using those, looks like maybe you'd put, like, laxative in it. Maybe a shampoo. Maybe a nice shampoo. Let's stick to that. It's like a shampoo... Maybe it's like a health drink of some sort. Maybe it's a, I don't know, a paint for like painting supplies. I don't know. 68 points? 69? I missed the diamond, but we got to 69, which is the ha-ha funny internet number. God dang it, why am I busy laughing at a stupid meme? Okay. 13 diamonds though. Okay, so we only need 17 more demons. And we're good. Okay, so... I do like that there's this variety of furniture that's popping up. I guess I have one question for this game, though. Whose house is set up like this? This is a liminal space where new furniture spawns in all the time. There's no rhyme or reason. It's not like you always get a couch after a table so that you can, like, sit at the table. Sometimes you do. But sometimes you get that. You get the back-to-back -back couch. Who's setting up? Who's the interior decorator? I want to sue. Ugh. Okay. That's such a disappointing feeling. It'd be kind of cool. I wonder if I... Okay, if I land right on the piano keys. That's what I want to do next. Will that give me a nice, like, piano key smash? Because that would be really funny. Oh, man. Those ones where you land right on the back of the couch? That's cool. I don't know. It's something about that. It feels so good. It feels very satisfying. Oh, I missed the keys again. I got distracted. Uh I'm kind of falling into a rhythm, though. I'm kind of figuring it out. It's nice with these types of games, even though this one's, like, kind of confusing because it's isometric like this. Once you sort of, like, hit a rhythm, like, I'm moving pretty quick here. 
do I have the highest score in the world in this game? Probably not. There's probably some people out there who are way better at it than me. But I am sort of picking up a little bit of steam. I feel like my confidence level... Oh, I'm <laughs> undershot. My confidence level is growing as I learn how to play this a little bit better. Uh, again, what was rule number one that I was just talking about? Don't talk about how like good I'm doing. <sighs> okay, so... I have two more diamonds to go be I have two more diamonds to go before I'm at 30. Now I only have one more diamond. Now I'm at 30. Now I can figure out what the heck level mode is. And with plenty of time in the video left. Awesome. I can't wait to try that out. But in the meantime, I want to get better at the freaking game. Alright. Level mode. 30 diamonds down the drain. Just like that. This, this better be good. Now it's unlocked here on the home screen. Level 1 it says. Okay. Oh, oh! It's uh, so it's the same as the last mode. It's just there's a goal to get to, so I have to hit at least three jumps to pass the level. Cool, awesome. All right, this is nice and easy. It still gives me diamonds. Why wouldn't I play level mode? Why wouldn't I get like my full completionist on? I mean, I guess if I'm going for a high score, that would be one reason not to play level mode. But this gives me diamonds too. This is fun. This is a nice little variation of the classic type of formula that the uh the regular mode sets up for us all right oh i thought that was way over oh that one was okay now is it i don't think it's randomly generated i feel like it's the same each time i still have not managed to land on the piano keys i need to i want to hear that like thrum, like of all the piano keys getting hit at the same time it would be very satisfying, very fun, very fun to me. But in the meantime, I'm just going to blaze through levels. Although, didn't it say there's like a thousand levels? Oh, man. All right. Maybe I'll get to like level 10, see if it adds any sort of gameplay variety or uh, additional challenge beyond just trying to get through. This is like a nice mode, though, for people who don't want to be hit with the anxiety of like the endless version where there's never any real goal to it. This like lets you end, you take a breather. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm learning. I'm getting a little bit better. I can take these baby steps. I almost feel like they should start with this before unlocking Endless Mode. Endless Mode almost makes it too anxiety-ridden. All right, level 10 didn't show us anything new. So I think I'm going to go back to Endless Mode here. Try to beat my high score and just get maybe one Piano Smash. I just want one Piano Smash. I think it would be fun. Be fun, funny, fantastic. All those words put together. There we go. Oh, yeah. I don't even remember what my high score was. I think it was like 70 or something. I, I think I was on a roll. I went into my flow state. I was in the gamer zone for a little bit. But, oh, yeah, 71. I was going to say, but, you know, I am getting to the point where I can consistently hit at least double digits in this game. With the help of the diamonds, of course. And uh, I think that that says something about me getting a little bit better. Okay. There we go. I need a piano. Piano, spawn now. Ooh, that was a little close. Ooh, right on the back. Oh, no. And then off the back side. Come on. Okay. I only have a couple. <laughs> well, well, with rounds like that, maybe I have more than just a couple rounds left in me. I was going to say, I think I only have a couple more rounds, like time enough for a couple more rounds. But if they're <laughs> like 30 seconds long, who cares? Oh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it now. Oh, my God. Uh, don't let the bottle flip meme from like 2018 upset me. Make me rage out, game. Come on. I'm already a boomer. I don't need to also be malding. I don't need to lose all my hair out of madness. Ah. Uh. Okay, here we go. Five. Th no diamonds this time. Ooh, no diamonds all the way up to seven points. That wasn't too bad. Oh, that was almost too much. That one was. Oh, it feels so ugly when that happens and you just roll off the side. You spill the bottle. All right, let's do this. At least this run. I got to get that piano. I need that piano. Give me the piano. Come on, game. Spawn that piano. Spawn that piano. Okay, one more. One more. 
I need a piano. Please. Everything rides on this. If the game has realistic piano, key smash. It's the best game ever made. If it doesn't, it's still a really fun game, and I'm glad that I got to play it. I didn't know what to expect from this, honestly. But it's kind of fun. There's something about zoning out with this type of game. It's vibing. Getting a high score, unlocking more stuff, etc. Like, I haven't even tested out the other modes. Game is fun as heck, though! Oh my god, it makes me want to keep playing, but unfortunately... I'll unlock grayscale mode or something. Unfortunately, I'm out of time. Can't play anymore, but you can go collect all these diamonds and unlock all of these modes and cosmetics and everything. See if you can beat my high score of 71, which really isn't too shabby for someone who kind of sucks at these types of games normally. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me spill the bottle over and over again. If you did, please, please, please check this game out over here on lag.com. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye bye